welcome back to my channel. This is Arlene. Um, I had a, pe a couple of people write to me and say, where have you been for the past couple days? I hope everything's all right. Well, I appreciate you. I really do. But I was upstate New York with my mom visiting my cousin Kelly. And we went apple picking and we went to Vermont and we just had three full days of fun, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, and yeah, so I'm back, today is Wednesday, I don't know if I'll get this video up today, but it'll definitely, definitely be up tomorrow, and what I'm going to be making is a French onion chicken, so it's kind of like a play on a French onion soup over chicken breast, it's freaking delicious. We did make it upstate with my cousin Kelly, and I actually did do a video on that, but I we did it with the butter and the uh, Swiss cheese and provolone. I'm going to do it a different way uh, so that it's Weight Watcher friendly. So in my big pan here, I sprayed it with my cooking spray, and I have about four big onions, but depending on how much you're making... I'm making this for me and my husband for dinner and then for my husband's lunch tomorrow. So I'm just going to saute these onions down for about 20-25 minutes. You want them really caramelized and brown and looking beautiful. And so this is going to cook for a while and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so my onions are nice and brown. I'm going to let them go a little bit more. But now to this... You're really supposed to use a fresh thyme, you know, peel it off the sprig, you know, fresh thyme. But I don't have fresh thyme, so I'm going to use some dried thyme. I think I have enough thyme to last me, um, to last me like 50 years because I have this big gigantic thing. It's like for in a restaurant. I actually bought it at the restaurant supply when I worked in the delis and I had their card. I bought all my spices like that. So I add the thyme to the onions. Now this was just with the spray. If you want to make it the real way, you're supposed to melt butter in here. And then when all the butter is melted, you do the onions and then you add your gravy. So the butter does make the onions taste a lot better, but we're not putting butter because we are doing it the Weight Watchers way. Now, I have a can. I actually have a can of, I mean a jar of the fat-free roasted turkey and the fat-free uh, savory beef. So I'm just going to put both in because I don't have two beef, but it'll taste nice, trust me. If you have two of the savory beef, the fat-free, put two of them in. If you don't want to go out and buy gravy, you can add water and beef bouillon and then thicken it with like two tablespoons of flour. But the flour is going to add points. The flour is probably less points than this gravy. i got to scan it and see how many points it is. So I'm just going to let this cook a little bit longer. Look at this. Let me taste. Mmm. Even though it's jarred gravy, with the thyme, I'm going to put a little bit of salt and black pepper. Just a little bit. I'm going to cook this for a little while. Then I'm going to transfer it to a bowl. And then I'm going to cook my chicken in here, and I'll show you the next step. Guys, this is so delicious. We really enjoyed it the other night when we made it at my cousin's. And we did it the real way with the butter. And then because there's so much butter, we added the flour and made the roux. And then added uh, beef stock. And then it got nice and thick like this. And then um, we did it over the chicken. But, you know, as a shortcut... With the fat-free gravy, it's just as good. Let me see. Mmm. 
that little bit of kosher salt and that little bit of black pepper really took it up a notch. So I'm going to let this go for about another five minutes in the pan. I'm going to transfer this out. I'm going to wash the pan and then I'll show you what's next. Okay, so I washed my pan out and I sprayed it again. And I have my thin chicken cutlets here. I just want this to get a little hotter maybe. Oh no, that's good. That I'm just going to put in and cook on both sides. Now this was one thick cut chicken cutlet, one that I sliced into all these little pieces. As you can see how thin they are. So I'm just going to cook them on both sides. I'm going to transfer it to a baking dish. And then I'm going to show you the next step. So both sides are going to be nice and grilled, basically. And if you want, you can season them up. But because I put the salt and the pepper and the thyme in the gravy, there's no need really to, um, to do the chicken. So I don't want it too salty and too much pepper. Now mine, I'm going to be doing with the fat-free mozzarella, a half a cup, which I think is one point. And then my husband's, I will be doing with the regular whole milk mozzarella. So he's going to have a separate pan, and I'm going to have a separate pan. So let me continue to cook this on both sides, and I will show you the next step, and then I'll show you how I plate it up. I'm going to be serving it with uh, probably broccoli and with my zero-point mashed potatoes that I make with my uh, unsweetened almond milk and no butter and just onion powder, salt, and pepper. So I'm not going to show you that, but if my zero-point mashed potatoes will be on the plate. And yeah, so let me continue to fry our chicken, make the two separate pans, and I'll show you how to assemble them in the pan to put them in the oven. Okay, guys, so my chicken is nice and browned on both sides. Now, this is going to be my tray here. And I'm just going to take a couple of pieces and lay it in. I'll put these little ones in mine. Let me just remove this from the heat for uno momento. Now I have my beautiful French onion type onions here, and I'm just going to spoon some right over my chicken. And it's probably, oh, I still have the flame on, dummy. I'm going to crack my temptations. So I'm just going to spoon some of the gravy and the onions right over my chicken and you could try to figure out how much um, you know how much gravy you put this is probably about a half a cup of gravy maybe not even I'm trying to get most of the onions because I love them okay that's good now this other plates gonna be for my husband but I have to finish frying up the chicken which I will do that out, which I will do that now. Let me put that back on. Let me spray it. Okay, where are my tongs? You guys, my cousin Kelly is the one that found this recipe. And she's like, oh my God, you can so make this uh, French onion chicken and do it like Weight Watcher style. So I said, oh, absolutely. So now I have my fat-free mozzarella. And I'm going to take about a half a cup. Well, you know what? I'm actually going to put this in the oven first. And I'm going to cook this at 350 to make sure that that chicken, like now it's going to cook and get infused with this French onion type uh, gravy topping and so for about 20-25 minutes covered with foil and then when I take it out I'll put the cheese on and then pop it back in for a couple minutes 
for it to get melted. So this is going in the oven. My oven is already preheated to 350. Now for my husband's, there's one piece, there's two piece. Let me just get these done. And I'll put the rest of the onion mixture over his, and I have to still uh, grate his mozzarella cheese. So I'm going to put the rest of the onions over his, cover it with foil, pop it in the oven. I'll take both of them out, put the cheese on. I'll show you that, and then I'll show you how they... How delicious this is going to be when it's plated. Guys, I'm so excited. I went to the thrift store today and I got this um, tripod. And you could put it on the tabletop or it extends all the way big on the ground. So I just set it up and it was brand new in the box. Brand spanking new. I just opened it and put it together. And... When I looked it up online, it's like $90, brand new. Look how much I got it for at the AmVets. $4.98 for five bucks. I am so excited. Ah, I just had to show you that. But now this is the view from my new tripod. And I can actually go up and down and all around and I made my husband brownies just what I need in my house beautiful brownies with chocolate frosting oh I can't oh well so yeah so I got my new tripod so I'm all excited I'm glad I got it out of the car because I have so much stuff in the car I went thrifting when I was in uh what do you call it upstate New York I went to two Goodwills, and I have a bunch of stuff. And then I just went to the Ambets today and got a bunch of stuff. So, yeah, so I have a... I said, ah, let me bring it in and set it up while I'm waiting for my chicken to cook in the oven. And while I'm waiting for my potatoes to boil for my, um... My zero-point mashed potatoes. But this is how... This was the other uh, tripod that I had, which was a pain in the butt. And I, I, this is how I had to do it. Like put it on my egg thing and do it that way. And it's just a pain. I, I hate it. So I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I'm not using it. So yeah, so, all right, let me get these potatoes done, the mozzarella on the chicken, and I'll just take a picture and show you how the plate looks. So excited for this meal. It's absolutely delicious. All right, guys, so I took mine out of the oven, and now I'm just going to put my fat-free mozzarella cheese on top. About a half a cup. I'll have the points at the end, like usual. have my husband's bacon here I cooked up for his breakfast sandwiches. I'm going to make him some breakfast sandwiches for the week, for the rest of the week, I should say. Uh, I already put his mozzarella cheese on, put it back in the oven. I'm going to stick this back in the oven, and I'm going to plate it up. I'm going to make my mashed potatoes, and I'll show you how everything comes together and how many points it is. All right, guys, I'm ready to make my plate. I'm so excited. All right, so I have... There's my scooper. My mashed potatoes I made. Are zero points. They're just the potatoes, onion powder, salt, pepper, and some unsweetened almond milk. So my potatoes are zero points. Now, this whole thing has about half a cup of the cheese. I'm not going to eat all this. I'm eating half. And about a half a cup of the fat-free um, Heinz beef gravy, which a half a cup of the fat-free gravy, the beef is one point and it's one point for the, for the, um, mozzarella cheese. So even if I was to eat all of this, it's only two points, one point for the gravy, one point for the cheese. 
And look at that, you guys. Put some that nice onion, French onion soup type gravy right on top of the mashed potatoes. I'm just going to plate up the whole thing for the picture, for the thumbnail, and then I'll take, take some off. And then with that, I am going to be doing some broccoli. So I have my broccoli right here, chopped up broccoli. And there you have it. Voila. That's too hot for me to move. Where am I? I just had my pot holders. Look at that, guys. Delicious. And this whole entire meal is two points for the fat-free gravy and the fat-free mozzarella cheese. Everything else is zero. Look at that meal. And this chicken is out of this world. Well, thanks, everybody, for stopping by. Um, we did go apple picking when I was away. And I have so many apples, at least 50 or 60. So I will be researching tonight on some apple recipes to do. I know I want to do apple fritters. If any of you guys have any suggestions or something that you would like to see made with apples, put it in the de description box below. And I will make sure to do a video for you. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for tuning in. Please hit that subscription button and that notification bell so you know when I have another video coming up. So thanks, guys. I'm going to make my husband's plate. And, yep, that is what is for dinner tonight. Delish. Bye-bye, everybody. Have a great night.